Dangerously Incompetent with another Weak Spot Guide for World of Tanks. This episode, the Panzerkampfwagen II, House J. German Tier 3 light tank and it's premium. Now this tank's pretty rare. You can't buy it for gold in-game. You can't even buy it in the web shop at the moment. It's been given away as a gift tank and it's been sold for a ridiculous amount of real world cash for limited periods of time. Why would anyone spend large amounts of cash for a tier 3 tank? Well its overall win rate is 57% and that's why stat padders buy it. Why is it win rate so ridiculously high? It indicates a, a totally overpowered tank. Well the main reason is it's armour. Let's have a look. 80. Looking at the front. Ooh, 70. 80. Gun mantlet. 50 plus 80. For a tier 3, that's monstrous. Most tier 3 tanks are not going to get through that. If we have a look at my BT-7 artillery. Penetration on that. 37. So I'm not going to get through on any of these flat points. I might be able to get through if I hit <laughs> this tiny little area, which is only 50. Well, that's still not getting through. I'll get a tiny bit of damage through because of the high explosive mechanisms for simply forcing its way through the armour rather than actually penetrating. Top of the hull is my best bet. It's only 25 mil, but it's very nicely sloped to give 36 equivalent armour. Even the side, still 50. Hatches, they're weak. Oh, 40. Still pretty tough. Then the bit covered by the tracks. 50 plus 24, you've spaced. What about, oh, I'll run round, get it in the rear. That's what I'll oh, do. Ah, oh, ah, oh. still 50. So, even taking advantage of its slow speed and running around the back, you still don't get many chances to penetrate it. There's the top of the hull again, but super slopey, equivalent of 49mm. Your best bet is to knock its tracks off and then scream for artillery to help you, because it's only 25 mils on the top, which is still a lot more than most Tier 3 tanks. And remember, tier 3 artillery or tier 4 artillery doesn't tend to be that accurate, especially as it's being played by newbies who don't know what they're doing. So your chances of getting artillery help are going to be slim. Now with such ridiculous armour, you think, ah, oh, Wargaming likes to balance its tanks, it'll, it'll have something to penalise it. Well, it does have slow speed. It's max speed, 31. So that's pretty slow. Or maybe about the gun. Yeah, that looks like a very small calibre gun. What can that gun do? Uh, five hour, here we go. Where's the damage per minute? Per Penetration, 23, that's with its regular ammo. 23 mils. Well, 23 mils will go through my BT-7. No problem. Anywhere, pretty much anywhere you like. So he's going to have no problem with for me and many other Tier 3 tanks with his regular ammo. But given he's bouncing so many shots and he's winning so many battles, he's probably not going to be adverse to using a bit of premium oops wrong one premium ammo. So let's have a look at the penetration for the premium ammo. Forty six forty six mils of armour. So that pretty much goes through any tier three. Let's have a quick look on on tier four. Let's see if we can find a tier four with lots of armour. 
What about Matilda? That's notorious for having lots of armour. 75, 75, 80. Yeah, okay. He's going to have problems on Matilda front or aside. And it's never going to get to the rear. So Matilda should be able to take it out. With his penetration of. Da da da, 121. Oh, that's with. Yep. Okay, tier 4 heavy. Well, medium, sorry. Can deal with it. But tier 2s. Tier 3s. They're just going to die like flies and just spang off it. It's ridiculous armour. The reason why I'm, I'm giving you this weak spot guide is because I've been running into them fairly often in my BT-7 artillery and they've been giving me a real headache. With all that armour versus my high explosive low penetration. So what to do when you're faced with one? If you can get above it, shoot it there. If you can't, you're gonna have to shoot its tracks off, run around avoiding its its gun and screaming for help from artillery. Good luck with that. 